simplest item car was called Alpines. More about their names and structures, as well as looking at um, some of their properties. And then we'll take a brief survey of the other categories of chemical compounds. We talked last week about having chains of carbons, having rings of carbons. So another variation we can have, we can have the chains, but instead of one continuous chain of carbons, sticking off the, the chain, we can have branches. Those branches could be other carbons, or they could be things other than hydrogens, like halogens. So if we have a side chain that's a carbon group, we're going to name it in a similar way that we talked about naming the actual carbon chains themselves. If you go back and look at the table from chapter 11, table 11.1, .1, I believe it is, had the up to 10 carbon chains. One carbon had a root name or a prefix of meth. And we had a, so one carbon alkane was methane. A one carbon side chain or a one carbon alkyl group is a methyl group. We use the same meth to indicate one carbon. We just have a YL suffix. Similarly, the two carbon prefix is F. So a two carbon side chain would be an ethyl group. A three carbon pro would be a propyl group. We also have our halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. We just become fluoro, fluoro, bromo, iodine. We also have to start dealing with the idea of isomers. We'll see several examples of this. But isomers are compounds which have the same chemical formula, the same number and types of atoms. But when we look at how those atoms are put together, when we look at the structure, there's a difference in the way things are put together. And that means that there's going to be a different name, and they're going to be a different set of properties. They may be similar, but they'll be slightly different. We'll look at one type of isomer today, which is called structural or constitutional isomers. There are also other isomers where it's just going to be a matter of how things are positioned in three dimensions. <coughs> That'll be discussed a little bit at a couple of different points in Chem 122 for an ABK in that course.